2015 was another successful year for the 150 pound weight loss success story Lonnie Fresh. Most importantly, it was a year that curved a great deal of learning experience in addition to adding even more excitement into his life. Well, the expectations that I had coming into 2015 of myself was really to uh, learn, learn more, you never stop learning, and uh, to remain humble. At the start of the year, Lonnie had just been reuniting with long-term high school friend and filmmaker Chris Banks in a comical health and fitness tattoo mini web series entitled Fit for 15. It was hilarious. So I'm, well, I guess I'm more like this one. Um, in your mind, yeah. But in actuality, from what I can see, you're more of this guy here. Oh yeah. Let me try that again actually. Did I get up did I get up there? Yeah, yeah, you think I didn't think he was gonna do it like that, man. I'm just trying to do it. I had a great time. It was a great learning experience and it actually helped me to uh get to where I am today as far as my knowledge with uh lights, camera and action. Point Dexter, I mean Morrison, what's going on man? It's me, Lonnie Fresh. Ha <laughs> ha Look, listen man. I'm finally getting back to you. I just watched your corny video and it is hilarious. I, I, I gotta tell you that. During the spring of March 21st, 2015, Lonnie finally stepped it up and tied the knot with best friend of nearly over a decade after changing the previous dates about three times according to Lonnie no other day could have been more perfect and as beautiful for both of the newlyweds well my wedding day uh, for me it was such a beautiful day I don't feel as though any other day could have been the most perfect um, day uh, to give my life away to my beautiful wife. By mid-spring and nearly a year after competing in his first competition, Lonnie moved forward with investing in his first clothing line he named One Fitty Fresh. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Lonnie Fresh. I want to congratulate our winners of the One Fitty Fresh t-shirt contest. During the course of the summer, Lonnie came across an opportunity of a life time for him as he finally struck a publishing deal with Hollis Media Group to tell his story in his soon-to-be new book Out of the Shadows. Writing the first book it was a challenge. Uh, there was a lot of times I got stuck but by the grace of God I had a great uh, publishing company that was there to coach me along the way. Not long after was he able to share parts of his inspiring story of his weight loss. He entered into the spotlight for the first time with features on the local news, Healthy Black Men magazine, and local newspaper. To be in the spotlight for the first time, I was nervous. And now knowing, or back then rather, uh, knowing that people was learning about uh, bits and pieces of my story. It was an honor, but at the same time that was something that kind of scared me as well because I didn't know how people was judging me. Though he didn't train to compete in any competitions during the course of the year, maintaining in top shape and really focusing on his diet and nutrition was still his number one priority. Me not competing my my lifestyle still goes on just like when you wake up in the morning you brush your teeth you, you get in the shower well for me i brush my teeth i get in the shower and i'm getting ready to head down to the gym to do what i have to get done for the day so it's like second nature to me uh when it comes to living a healthy lifestyle he even continued to promote his healthy way of living to all his social media friends and followers eventually I said to myself that enough was enough. I knew that I had to conquer my fears and transform my mind before I can actually do that to my body. As the year comes to close, Lonnie reflects back not only on 2015, but all the years that put him on the path towards molding him as an inspirational leader who has managed to help others to find hope in themselves. I'm always learning. I'm uh, very dynamic. I'm not perfect but I'm willing to learn from my mistakes, which for me is the essence of uh, creating a great leader. You, you have to learn from your mistakes. You're not gonna get it right every single time. And people is watching that. And I feel as though that people respect those 
that are willing to admit to their mistakes and admit that they're human and do everything that's possible to make themselves grow into a better person. My expectations of myself for 2015, I feel as though that they were uh, very well uh, met and fulfilled. His book entitled Out of the Shadows is now available for online purchases through Hollis Media Group by visiting www.hollismedia.net. Be sure to follow Lonnie on Instagram at LonnieFresh84 and at Lionel Dixon on Twitter.